how to create line tracing images just like the one you see here. Hi, Kerry here from Dream Creator B and welcome to our channel where we show you how to make money online with KDP, low content books and Etsy with new training every week. So be sure to hit the big red subscribe button down below. So today I am actually going to show you how to actually create this whole image and make it into a line tracing image. And yes, this was using shapes inside of PowerPoint. So why doing a line tracing image? Well, learning early learning stuff really sells well and yes there is a huge market so what i've done is i've gone to amazon and i've actually typed in a long tail keyword called activity books with line tracing images so it's something that i would put inside probably my seven word seven backing keywords and i'd also try and get in like activity book in inside my title or subtitle but again an activity book needs to have more than just line tracing images it needs different things in there but activity books do really sell and if you look here this one's just doing line tracing images and it's got a BSR of 565,000 and it's selling a few copies a month. Now this one here is an activity book which is actually selling quite a lot of uh, books every month and I'll show you approximately how many they're selling and this one here is also independently published. Same with this one independently published uh, but this one is more of a maths book rather than an activity book that's got some tracing in and it says tracing there. And again, this one here is selling really well as well. And again, it's more of a handwriting tracing book rather than an image book. And yes, you can be doing these and I will create another video showing you how to create handwriting, letter tracing and number tracing books and shape tracing and all that but today we're doing image tracing and again this one here is also selling really well and it's from the same people what it looks like it is so if you run helium 10 chrome extension which is free and you can get it off of helium 10's website if you do an x-ray of this it brings back that this whole niche early learning pre-k K, which is kindergarten, uh, grade one and grade two, all the things for that, that sort of group have a total revenue of over a million dollars a month with an average revenue for each book of about 22,000. Now that's not to say every single book on that page is selling that amount. Because if we have a look here that my magical preschool workbook has sold two so far in the last 30 days. And again, with the tracing dab one, I sold approximately eight and the monster trap one approximately six. And this one here for Easter sold six. And there was one um, which was also for vehicles down here somewhere. That one was selling a lot better. So, but the big one that had all the different activities was this one here, which was 365 activity book for kids. And this one is actually selling about 250 books and it's got a great price of 1465. I don't know how many pages there are there. I'll have to have a look just now. And it's saying that they think their average revenue is of um, 3,662 thousand there it will come up here we'll see that there's 379 pages so they haven't really got that much profit on there they've still got a decent profit but it's quite a big thick book but it's a great idea also if you are creating tracing images or anything for early learning you can also be selling them on etsy's as printables you can also be selling them in teachers pay teachers you can also be selling them in creative fabrica as well and you can also be selling them on Creative Market as well. That's another market and Gumroad, all these different places where you can actually be selling printables. So let's get back and start actually working on this. So yes, this is an image that I created here in PowerPoint. Now PowerPoint is great for using shapes. Now all images that are drawn or created use three basic shapes they basically use a square or a rectangle which is the same sort of shape it's just different size uh, an oval or a circle or a triangle and then there's the 3d versions of it which is the cube the prism and the um, sphere so all i'm going to do is i'm going to create a new slide here 
And first and foremost, I'm going to start with the face. So all I do is I insert a circle to do that. I've got my circle. I'm going to take out the no fill and I'm also going to change the line to black. And I'm not doing it dot yet because I want to see different shapes. So again, what I can do is I can do another circle or I could have just duplicated that command D and then I could just resize that and put it over there. And again, I'm going to do the exact same thing and drag it there. So now I've got the ears. Now I actually want the same what I did here was so that it looks like it's all in one piece. So what I do is I select the big circle, hold the shift key down and select, hold the shift key down, go to shape format. And this time I'm going to union my shapes. And that has given me like a little head with some ears that are sticking out. So now I want to do the body. So again, I just get another circle and draw it out and if I'm not happy with it initially I just reshape it, resize it until I'm actually happy with where I want it to be and I can do that, shape fill, line I want it to be black and this time I'm actually going to send it in fact I'm going to keep that shape here white I'm going to send that one to the back. So where it says order here, I can just click send to back and it is now there. Yeah. Your body might be a bit bad, but it doesn't matter. You're just going to see the basics of what I'm doing. And then what I want now is insert again and draw two circles for the feet no line I'm going to duplicate again, this time just make it a bit smaller, move it in the middle. Let's go. And PowerPoint is great because it lines everything up. And I can also turn things so. Sure, that's more. But I'm going to delete that one. Command that one. Yeah. Rotate it. Flip. It goes that way. Arrange. Yeah, to the back. Don't want it all the way back. And forwards. Okay. And again, I can maneuver things around until I'm actually happy with how it looks. Now I'm going to insert another circle. Check fill. And do our outline. And another one, go in the middle. Oh, 
Hold it. Let the eye to speak. Now we need to finish off the face. So I'm going to insert and I'll build it out here. I'll change that right now. So I should have drawn that, change it to right, bring it down and cover it. Group it. Duplicate what I've got on here. And up, insert another oval. Check the We want to lose, insert, oval, shape the black, shape that line black, a little bit smaller, and drag in. Now, what I need to do is I need to get some lines in here. So insert, shape, line, and game. I want it black and I want it quite thick. So one and a half to do. What I'm going to do is insert and I'm going to use curves. This one here, curve. I'm just trying to draw out to there and then just click it, double click so it actually closes it and line for again it's going to be black okay edit that points and that actually pull it out a little bit that's it and then, ooh, drop it down here, touch that as near as possible. Then I'm going to duplicate and I'm going to flip. So rotate, flip, and Yeah. And then I'm going to section pane and hold that and hold that and then I'm going to group those. Right click, group, and I'm going to go back to this oval here and put it back into some sort of alignment will do so we'd still need to put the ears in now this what i did here is i took a circle drew it out uh, shape fill white line was black 
and then I inserted a square. And I just put that over there like that. And then I selected the circle first and then the square. And I went into subtract and it gives me my little hair. Move it up there, and I can make it small so it fits in. Yeah. Duplicate. Flip. And then in here. So that is the main part of my drawing actually done. That's a little fatter than this one but it's still quite cute i think okay so that is the ears and everything done it's quite cute what i've got is i've got a bit of a problem here i need to actually move these ovals so that they're in front of the body so they are here and i think the body is there so i just need to change the order around a bit and this bit here actually needs to be there so that's in more of a order of everything i'm quite happy with that so now what i need to do is i need to make it a dotted line so i'm going to go across making sure i've selected everything by drawing with my mouse all the way around and everything looks like it's selected no it doesn't these two here the two feet aren't selected they are now so now what i need to do is over the teddy bear right click click group and i've got everything grouped so now what i can do is i can change it to line art so on here where it's the line way i can change it to dashed and then i need to go to format shape and i want to change the cap to round and i want to change the join type to round and that now is my line tracing image that I've created myself so it's unique because nobody else has done that unless you've copied along but even then it won't be the same because this is the previous one that I drew which is definitely not the same as that one because this one's a bit more chunkier it's got more fur and then what you can also do is some SVGs not all SVGs will allow you to actually do line art so here is an image that is an SVG now, according to the licensing rule of this image, you've got to combine it with other things. But for this example, I'm going to just show you this. So while it's still a graphic format, if I go to graphic film and change it to white, and then what I can do is I can go to um, outline, change it to black. And again, I can now go and change it to dashes. And that is that one done. For me there looks quite nice now i've got another image that's an svg but it won't do it for there so let me just show you this one here if i try to do the exact same thing with this change the graphic fill to white change the outline to black it gives me that and if I try and change it to dashes it does it for the whole of the images there which is not really what you're wanting because you're wanting them to actually trace on the specific line because it's a double line so what you might be able to do is go back to convert shape and have it as a shape format they might be able to ungroup different things and then delete different things off it so there isn't anything so I can't really take it out and make it a single in PowerPoint you might be able to do that in other graphic programs so not all SVGs are made equal so that's what you can do so that is how you can create line tracing images to be used in your early learning books or your KDP low content books or your printables or anything like that I hope this video helps if it did give it a like button 
Don't forget to hit the little B above my head to subscribe to the channel to be notified about any other videos I make. If you've got any questions or if there's any videos you want me to make or cover any other different types of software, don't forget to put it down in the comments because I do respond. Also, while you're at it, don't forget to check out my two videos about creating word searches and crosswords using a free tool.